can work in many different and mysterious ways in your life. For example, when I was thinking of my idea for my speech, I thought I should talk about my band performance and how God helped me not mess up on my solos. Or I thought how God raised my D to a B in biology in two weeks. Or how I broke 13 boards during the black belt testing. Or even when I stole all those $50 PS4 gift cards from CVS. I'm just kidding about the last one, but I am not going to talk about any of those hectic scenarios. I'm going to talk about the eerily painful process of how I made my speech or devotional. First off, an hour of intimate prayer. Oh, okay. That was a joke, but I was just kidding about that. But my mom always tells me to make a prayer for inspiration because she knows that I cannot make the speech alone. After my prayer, I look to see how long I have to give the speech. Six, oh God, six days. Wow, I'm big chilling. After my summer school, I take a fat nap. I did some chores after, and my mom was generous enough to take me and my sister to Starbucks. On the way there, I got my aux cord, plugged it into the car, and started blasting Power of Your Love. My mom, my sister, and I started singing. When I was singing, I thought about my speech. I thought God could handle it, and then I arrived at Starbucks, got my usual cup of joe, a mocha frat. Another day passes by, and I do the usual school, nap, and then I work on my music for band. Once, Wednesday comes up, and it's a daily summer routine. Then Thursday comes up, comes by, and I realize I haven't even started my devotional. I try not to worry about it, so I ha hopped on my chair, played my favorite video game, Minecraft, and spent two hours with the boys. Friday comes, and I really started to worry. I tried coming up with ideas, but I keep coming up short. Then Saturday rolled in. My alarm clock wakes me up, and I look outside my window. I forgot I had a yard sale, so I got up, took a hot shower, and skedaddled outside to help out with the stuff. After the unsuccessful yard sale, it was 12 o'clock. My family decided to eat pho after, so we did. As usual, I passed out of the food coma and took a, another nap. I woke up at 6, and my mom and dad decided to get a massage, so as usual, they dropped us off at my aunt's house. Me and my sister both know that we haven't even started on our devotional, so we thought we were going to be productive out there at my aunt's house, but we were not. So, when I was at my aunt's house, I played NBA 2K with my cousins. After a couple of rounds handing, him L handing L's to my cousin, we ate a dinner at around 8. At 8.30, I know that I'm going to be an embarrassment to my mom if I didn't start my speech. So as my usual self, I started playing Minecraft with my cousins. I was looking how efficient my sister was, but I just realized she, she even started her speech. She was doing homework. Then I thought to myself, I'll just do my speech late at night. 10 o'clock rolls by, and my, me and my family head home. I look at my phone, and it's 10.30. I kept thinking of excuse to say for church tomorrow, but I keep coming up short. I thought to myself, maybe I should tell my mom that I'm sick. But well, I know she wouldn't believe me. She never does. <laughs> 11 o'clock arrives, and I grab my laptop, put on my Christian playlist from Spotify, and started writing out my devotional. Look at the clock. It's 12. Then I glance at my notes. One paragraph. You might be asking yourself, what is Gian's devotional about? Well, my devotional is about how you can blabber about your week for around six minutes for a devotional. I'm kidding about that, but on a serious note, my speech is about how, can, how God can work through me in two hours. As you can see, I've written down my devotional for hopefully around six minutes. Proverbs 3 to 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. This verse means to me that God can work through me. Oh, shoot. Lost my <laughs> This means, this verse means to me that God can work through you in mysterious ways, even though you cannot fathom Him. Another verse that I believe correlates with this message is Joshua 1 to 9. It states, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be, will be with you wherever you go. And if you can't feel God's presence in your day, I recommend singing the song, Power of Your Love, because whenever I blast that song in my mom's car, I can sense the Holy Spirit every time. <laughs>